Okay, this one is on the INTJ temperament. I seem to have a crap load of emails asking questions about them. Honestly, they're it's not some big secret or they're not an enigma or anything. They're just like you and I. Um, the thing about them that makes them unique would be um, that although they do feel things quite intensely and uh, are very loyal to those feelings and you would be surprised how intensely and how easily they can have their feelings hurt they must submit to the logic they you know they have to check in with the logic first to make sure it's okay um, two things about that is it does take some time and um, it has to work it has to make sense they have to be able to envision it and see it happening and the consequences of it and how it flows and all of those things before they can really honestly make an assessment about it and their feelings must submit to that um yeah of course there's some times when logically despite whatever they still want to do it and you know that that's okay but as you can tell they have to check in with that logic um, it's just the way that they work and they like to pull things apart you know the the stronger you can argue your point with them um, honestly the more respect you get from them as long as it's you know makes sense and, and is and is told in a way that they can understand it um, very headstrong yes um, but I don't really see anything wrong with that and I don't really see them as arrogant I just see them as they want you know to convey things in a way that makes the most rational workable sense and if you can go into situations with them knowing that and understanding it and not take it personal when they are um, questioning on it honestly they're going through that process and you get to do it with them you know of picking it apart and seeing if it does make sense you know or or ways to make it even work better than it already does it's not a cut down they're actually it's almost like an invitation in a way um incredible sense of humors um just like like i said they're they're not as odd or strange or this special thing that you see them as at least I don't um, <laughs> they're just like everyone else and um, you would be surprised if, if you know you really do try and honor it from their side of the fence how um, good of friends that they can make and they're not robots and um, I don't know they're not domineering buttheads or anything like that they're actually pretty incredible people um, I don't know why all of the emails about them, but um, one thing too as they talk about is their confidence. And yeah, they come across very confident in their thought processes and not that kind of stuff. And it's just because, you know, they've honed that skill in um, believing in that logic and following it because it's made the most sense to them over time. They've seen it again and again. So it makes those decisions easier to stick with hence conveying you know the confidence and they do play around with religion as much as science um, even in my own temperament we all do that there's some kind of a yin and a yang I think between religion and science because like for me the mystic, the mystic you know religion equality all of that kind of stuff I love science as well so don't be surprised if they talk about religion a lot um, nothing new there but anyway hopefully this helps you to understand the INTJs in your life and um, you know we can appreciate who they are and understand them a bit better so they're not such a big mystery. Later. Goodbye.